before I do too much of my video, uh, I want to show you a little bit of background where I've been getting my information. Like many people, I've watched a lot of different YouTube um, videos, and I've seen a little bit of biochar in the two PDCs, permaculture design courses I've taken. I've read, or I've got obtained several books, but haven't really read all any of them all the way through except for this first one. And I had bought the book. Then I found out that Kelpie had a class coming up, signed up for the class, bought the book again, forgetting that I already had one, so now I have two copies. So a lot of the information I'm using is coming from her book and the course. But I'm not stopping there. I'm definitely going to be reading some of the other books. And, of course, trying it uh, myself and getting some first-hand experience. Got um, a couple of people I know that are, that are into it as well that we're feeding off of each other. So uh, while I don't think it's the you know, divinely inspired, uh, absolute end-all, be-all of information... Her book is an awesome start. Um, she is an engineer. She's got many years of experience, mainly in uh, forestry uses, the biochar, and she has designed and sell, designed two different kilns and sells one of them. I think she may sell both of them. With that, let's get to my shaky um, video. So here's the biochar I did yesterday. I'm just using this 30, I guess, gallon uh, metal can it's got a locking lid i can put on it to snuff it out what i'm using is i'm starting starting it with some of the smaller stuff from having dropped trees a year or so ago cutting that up I saw a salamander in there so it's habitat but i'm sorry i'm going to burn it also got a whole bunch of just scrap lumber cutting into small pieces and um using that and then I've got when I put this shed up I used fence pickets as the walls and so I had about six inches of the top of those fence pickets and I'm putting those in there so this is the top and I mean that's pretty I mean it's not all going to be great so here's some that's unburned but there is some in there, different levels. And I started it at the bottom, and once I had a good clean um, flame with no smoke, I'd let it burn for a while, kind of like you see on all the videos when you start seeing a little bit of char or something, then I'd add a few more pieces. I tried not to add any, add so many that it started smoking again. If it started smoking, I added too much couple of times it was just smoking and smoking it never would come back to a flame i've got a small hand torch which is actually map gas and i'd poke that in there and within about two seconds it went from just total smoke to clear flame so that may be something if, especially if you've got a smaller one and you've added too much and it's having a hard time getting back to a clean burn and it's just smoking and smoldering try using a torch and uh, see if you can kick it over the threshold um, I'm just going to take a shovel, try to see how much I can crush. I've got a sieve that I had made for, for garden compost a while back. I may take the, um, go find my um, wheelbarrow and start sifting this kind of through that sieve into the wheelbarrow. And the parts that are not burned well went and crush or break up. We'll go back in the bottom for the next burn, and the stuff that did uh, break up and stuff and fall through the sieve. I've got a small compost barrel that I've been putting the, con the dry contents from my compost from my uh, composting toilet. And so, since I don't have an actual compost bin up and running here, all I've got is the composting toilet and compost. I may just add this char into that just to go ahead and get it mixed in there and get it doing something so I want to be able to any chance I get to do a half or a full burn I want to do it and then I want to have a place um, to mix it into compost until such time as I've got animals and then it'll go through the animals first 
Um, that way I've got something ready when I do the next row, next uh, garden row like I did. Then I'll be able to put a layer of the old punky firewood. The, bio, the activated charcoal is activated as I can get it. Compost or chicken litter on top of that. Then the soil and that'll be the next row. But uh, this is my biggest burn yet so far so we'll see how much we get out of it. See if you can hear me over the wind. So I did a decent little burn of biochar yesterday. I started it, I cut up and broke up some little pieces and leaves and stuff from that pile to get it started. Most of what I was burning is just some scrap lumber that I had cutting up in small pieces. And then the tops of some of these fence pickets from, that I had been sitting back, they've been under cover for two or three years, um, nice and nice and dry. And I'm just using this 30 gallon or so burn barrel, or this barrel that I got, burned it a couple times to get stuff out. And I started at the bottom, got the fire going. Once it was a nice clear flame, then I would start adding material. And I tried to add no more than needed. And you know when you've added too much, because if you've got a clear flame, um, no smoke, and you add one or two pieces, no big deal, you add enough in there, then it gets real smoky. Um, so you basically lose the, lose the flame and it goes to smoldering. Sometimes eventually it'll come back to a flame, sometimes it won't. One thing that helped was if it wasn't coming back to a flame pretty quick and it's just staying really, really smoky, I've got a little handheld uh, map gas torch, kind of like the blue bottle but with the yellow bottle. <clears throat> Stick that in there, add a little bit more flame or get the flame going and it'll start burning the gas and you'll get back to a clear flame sometimes. Give that a try. So you just keep doing that, you keep adding, you keep adding, and the goal is all the oxygen's got to come in from the top. There are no holes anywhere in the bottom. So no air can get into this except through the top. And if you keep adding material on the top, then as it heats up and the volatile gases and stuff come off and get burned off, all the combustion, the oxidized combustion, is at the top. And what's at the bottom stays hot, but there's no oxygen. Now, oxygen can't get down through the flame, through down all that material to the bottom. And so it chars without going to ash. And you just keep adding, adding, adding as much as you can, as fast as you can, without going smoky until you either have to stop or it's full. Now, with this little barrel, I don't have a lot of water down here. So rather than water quenching it, it'd probably be better. I have um, the lid and the band, so at any point, whether I just need to leave, whether it's getting out of control, or whether it's full, um, I can just put the lid on it, put the band on it, and leave it overnight. This is what was on the top. The rest of this was underneath. I'll just take in the shovel and kind of jab it in, in there to crush it. But I mean, here's the char, you know, and so I've got about half a barrel. Um, so if that's a 30 gallon, I got about 15 gallons of pretty decent char. char. So this bucket, I'm going to do about three quarter full. And that's what I empty the liquids from the composting toilet into. I'll let that set until I don't have enough any more room or until I need it. It'll set for a week, two weeks, three weeks, whatever, with a lid on it. Let that char just be soaking all that up. And then that'll go into a garden bed. The rest of this, I don't have a regular com regular compost pile yet. The only composting I'm doing down here is the solids from the composting toilet. So I've got a, a container uh, barrel for that. And I'm just going to dump all this in there for right now. And mix it in. It's just going to help that stuff compost, compost down better and faster. And then whenever it's um, able to be used around some trees or something it'll just be that much better but I want to make I want to make char as often as I can I just need some place to put it and then eventually I'll get a regular composting system set up and it'll go into that and then if I ever get animals then it'll start with the animals um, before it goes through anything else <laughs> 